Welcome to Spaceverse, your portal to cosmic adventures. Under the powerful gaze of NASA's James Webb Space Telescope, a long-standing mystery has finally come to light. The elusive, shimmering auroras of Neptune, once only hinted at in brief, distant glimpses, have now been seen in spectacular detail. For the first time in history, we have a clear, breathtaking view of intense auroral activity on the solar system's most distant giant. Auroras, those mesmerizing curtains of light dancing in a planet's atmosphere, are created when charged particles, usually from the sun, become trapped in a planet's magnetic field. As these particles slam into the upper atmosphere, energy is released, and light is born. We see this phenomenon on Earth as the northern and southern lights. On Jupiter, Saturn, and Uranus, similar displays have been studied for years. But Neptune remained a ghost. Back in 1989, NASA's Voyager 2 spacecraft flew past Neptune and gave us our first tantalizing clues, faint hints of auroral activity. Yet for decades afterward, those signals remained frustratingly out of reach. Even the mighty Hubble Space Telescope could only do so much. The distance. The dimness. The challenge was immense. Then came Webb. With its unmatched near-infrared sensitivity, the James Webb Space Telescope finally broke through the veil. It turns out, said lead author Henrik Mellon of Northumbria University, actually imaging the auroral activity on Neptune was only possible with Webb's near-infrared sensitivity. The auroras were breathtaking, but what really floored me was the detail. The clarity. Webb's near-infrared spectrograph captured the moment in June 2023. The resulting images, enhanced and overlaid on prior Hubble data, show cyan splotches of light, glowing, unmistakable signatures of auroral activity. And beyond just pictures, Webb gathered spectral data, giving scientists a deeper look into Neptune's upper atmosphere, the ionosphere. There, they detected something extraordinary, an exceptionally strong emission line from the trihydrogen cation, or H3+, a molecule that forms in auroras and glows brightly in the infrared. This ion has been a trusted signpost on Jupiter, Saturn, and Uranus. And now, finally, it shines on Neptune too. Dr. Heidi Hamill of the Association of Universities for Research and Astronomy, who led the Solar System Guaranteed Time Observation Program, reflected on the moment. H3 Plus has always been a clear marker of auroral activity on the gas giants. We expected it on Neptune, but could never confirm it. Not until Webb. Neptune, once the silent outlier, has now joined its fellow giants in displaying this cosmic dance of charged light. And it's all thanks to a telescope nearly a million miles from Earth, peering into the farthest reaches of our solar system, and bringing the unseen into view. In the grand story of space exploration, this is not just a scientific triumph. It's a reminder, with each new lens, the universe reveals a little more of its magic. When we think of auroras, the stunning light shows that dance across polar skies, we usually picture Earth's poles bathed in shimmering greens and purples or perhaps the powerful, pulsing auroras of Jupiter and Saturn caused by their massive magnetic fields. But out in the far reaches of our solar system, Neptune is breaking all the rules. You see, Neptune's auroras are anything but ordinary. Unlike Earth, Jupiter, or Saturn, Neptune's auroras aren't confined to the poles. Instead, they've been spotted in the planet's mid-latitudes, roughly equivalent to where South America would be if Neptune had continents. That's an unusual place for auroras to occur. And the reason lies deep within the planet's magnetic personality. Neptune's magnetic field is, well, bizarre. Tilted at a staggering 47 degrees from its axis of rotation, the field doesn't line up with the planet's spin the way Earth's does. This strange orientation was first detected by NASA's Voyager 2 during its flyby in 1989 and it means that the magnetic poles, where charged particles usually crash into the atmosphere to produce auroras, are located far from where you'd expect. In Neptune's case, this odd geometry causes the auroral energy to emerge not from the magnetic poles, but directly from the atmosphere itself. This discovery opens a fascinating new window into the atmospheres of ice giants, planets that, until recently, remain some of the most mysterious bodies in our solar system. 
By studying Neptune's auroras, scientists hope to understand how its magnetic field interacts with the solar wind, a stream of charged particles that flows outward from the sun, even to the solar system's edge. But that's not all. Using the powerful infrared capabilities of the James Webb Space Telescope, researchers have finally measured Neptune's upper atmospheric temperature for the first time since Voyager 2's visit more than three decades ago. And what they found shocked them. According to astronomer Henrik Mellon, the temperature of Neptune's upper atmosphere in 2023 was more than half what it was in 1989. That's a drop of hundreds of degrees. Imagine that an already frigid world becoming even colder. This dramatic cooling might explain why Neptune's auroras have remained hidden for so long. In a colder upper atmosphere, the energy from solar particles gets dampened, making auroras much fainter or even undetectable. So even though Neptune orbits more than 30 times farther from the Sun than Earth, its atmosphere is still surprisingly dynamic. And this chilling change tells scientists that Neptune is far from static, it's alive with motion, interaction, and mystery. And now, with these extraordinary new findings, the journey into Neptune's mysteries takes a giant leap forward. For the first time, scientists are preparing to observe this icy world across an entire solar cycle, a full 11-year period marked by the rise and fall of solar activity, where the sun's magnetic field flips and reshapes itself in powerful, sometimes unpredictable ways. This isn't just another mission. It's a patient, long-term investigation, an effort to understand how Neptune's own magnetic field behaves under the influence of our dynamic sun. And in doing so, astronomers hope to answer one of the most puzzling questions in planetary science. Why is Neptune's magnetic field so skewed, so strangely tilted, and so wildly off-center compared to what we see on Earth or even Jupiter? By tracking the planet's shimmering auroras, those ghostly lights dancing at the poles, scientists may finally begin to trace the invisible forces that shape this mysterious world. Auroras are more than just beautiful, they're cosmic clues, signs of magnetic activity pulsing through a planet's upper atmosphere. But until now, these signs have been obscured, hidden from view. That is, until the James Webb Space Telescope opened a brand new window in infrared light. As Dr. Lee Fletcher of the University of Leicester explains, as we plan future missions to Neptune and Uranus, we now understand the critical need for infrared light-tuned instruments to keep studying the auroras. His statement is more than a technical note, it's a reminder of how far we've come. For decades, these ice giants have remained on the edge of our understanding, distant, cold, and quiet. But now, with Webb's unmatched capabilities, the veil is finally lifting. This latest breakthrough comes from observations led by Fletcher himself, under the guidance of Dr. Heidi Hamill's Guaranteed Time Observation Program, specifically Program 1249. It's a powerful example of how careful planning, persistence, and cutting-edge technology can reshape what we thought we knew. Their findings have now been published in Nature Astronomy, joining the growing body of work redefining our view of the outer solar system. But this is just the beginning. Over the next decade, with Webb watching from its perch a million miles from Earth, Neptune will be under constant observation. Researchers will be monitoring, measuring, and learning, piece by piece, about the structure, behavior, and secrets of its interior and magnetic field. Each new image, each data point, brings us closer to answers. And looking even further ahead? These insights will help pave the way for future missions, robotic explorers bound for Neptune and Uranus, missions that will no longer be flying blind, but guided by decades of groundwork laid by telescopes like Webb. So stay curious, stay inspired. The outer planets are stirring again, and we're witnessing the dawn of a new era in planetary science. If you've enjoyed this journey through the cosmos, be sure to give us a like, subscribe to the channel, and ring the bell so you'll never miss another discovery. There's so much more to come, from icy worlds to distant stars, we're just getting started. Thanks for watching, and as always, keep looking up.